one of my colleagues, one of my, my good friends, uh, uh, Bruce Ackerman, uh, is fond of calling me a conversational anarchist. And what he means by that, and I take it as a compliment, you understand, uh, is that there's all this work going on in the academy in political philosophy and elsewhere to try to de devise a public space which will begin with a certain set of principles that in which none of us have to worry about any preconceived notions. We can come up with a common language that we can speak. And it's true this common language includes biases and prejudices like, you know, religion and nasty stuff like that. But it has all the good stuff in it. It has a lot of good liberal virtues and, and so on and so on. And I don't believe any of that. My view as a conversational anarchist is you come into the public space or the private space or the space in which you find yourself when you speak in the language that you're most comfortable with. And if nobody wants to listen because they don't agree with your starting point, then you lose. You should have come up with a better argument. Sometimes you just lose. But sometimes you win. 